You mentioned that stunning statistic, what, 7,000 service members died in the war since 9-11, but it's 6,000 veterans every single year since 2001 who have succumbed to suicide. Do you think that the government and American taxpayers are doing enough to address this? We're not doing enough. We don't have the urgency. It, it needs to be a national problem. It needs to be a problem that every American recognizes as theirs because these are the, the small percentage of the American people who have put their life on the line and, and ultimately given their life. It's such a small percentage. It's about 1% right. of the American population and there's just too much of a disconnect. I actually think that's a big part of the reason why we see people coming home from service and feeling alone, even surrounded in their hometowns, feeling alone because they can't relate. And so there's so many aspects to solving it, but it, it, it can't, the government has to do a whole lot more. The whole country has to come into Memorial Day weekend and yes, you can celebrate, but please take a moment and think about the names on this wall, the names on your local hometown memorial, the names on the memorial bracelets of the veterans that you see, ask them about it. Ask them to tell you those stories, and, and we should be sharing those stories. So you're working on legislation together to try to expand health care coverage for the children of veterans until age 26. Do you have any pledge from leadership to actually move this anytime soon? We've been having this fight in this country for longer than both of our time in Congress. So we've been working together with this caucus of bipartisan military veterans to apply pressure. Because if we don't apply that pressure, if we don't shine the spotlight on this problem, it will get sort of stuck in the dysfunction of the Congress right now. I, I do think we'll get it through. At the end of the day, it's becoming a recruiting and retention problem when uh, service members can't have their kids covered. Then that's becoming an issue for the Pentagon. We're working with them to make it a priority and working with leadership to make it a priority and get it paid for. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's hundreds of thousands of military service members and their families right now in this country that don't have the same health care coverage as other Americans. That is outrageous.